Hello everyone, my name is Ryan. Some of you know me as John Doe, right here in Japan. Now, it appears that Tokyo Electric Power Company, otherwise known as TEPCO, uh, revealed recently that it has detected some very high levels of radioactive substances which are emitting beta rays in underground water taken from a well very close to the former, at this point, Fukushima number one nuclear power plant. Now, the levels record some 3,000 BQ of radioactive substances, such as strontium, per liter of groundwater collected from the well. Now, to be more exact, the well is, is the nearest one uh, to the ocean among the four wells that are used for observation near the plant. Uh, it's this radiation well was were the highest they've, they've uh, recorded from these wells as coming from Depco. Now, a lot of people here for a while now have been um, suspecting that the core, nuclear core, has actually melted through the plant and got into the actual soil. And this is just, this is just one more piece of evidence to back that up. Now, TEPCO officials stated that it's true that radioactive contamination has been found from groundwater near the sea, but we don't know whether the tainted water has made its way into the sea. That's very telling considering that recently, and I did do a video on this, that um, radioactive tritium has been found to be increasing in the seawater uh, inside the port and around the Fukushima. Now, that raises the possibility that what everyone's saying, and what I've alluded to a few times, is that, yeah, that core, that radioactive core, has gotten to that groundwater. You got groundwater coming out that's already radioactive, and then you got groundwater that's coming into the plant radioactive, becoming more radioactive than leaking outside the plant. What other uh, conclusion are people to come to? That core, obviously, is in a very, very bad state. But yet we can't prove definitely that it's melted through the plant. It's getting into the soil, into the groundwater. But more and more evidence is coming out to suggest this as being highly true. But of course, as we all know, TEPCO hasn't even got to observe the core properly, to make a proper estimation of this, and I would imagine that they really will be hesitant to do that at this point, but eventually they're going to have to. Eventually. They're going to have to find out exactly what's causing all this contaminated water everywhere. So yeah, I give a suggestion to anyone who's thinking about getting fish from that area. Think about anyone who wants to get water from that area. Simply put, don't. Now I know the fisherman co-op in that area has been struggling to resume operations. And things like this which keep happening make it twice as hard for them. They make it twice as hard for the people who live in Fukushima Prefecture to continue to deal with this. With a often incompetent company in TEPCO and a government that's often absent from the issue altogether. So that's what's going on in Japan, guys. So of course, leave some comment, comment box below. We'll have a little conversation maybe. If you want to leave a, if you want to leave a video, video response of any type related to this video, please do. And as always, spread these vids around and Let's let the people know what's going on. Till next time, it's me, Ryan, here in Japan. Checking out.